into a grating. Okay, so this grating has very lots and lots of really really small lines on it, and when we shine our light onto it with a certain angle, we're going to get off a reflected beam. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna so if you shine it in, shine it in like a like like a, like a mirror, you're gonna it's gonna come off at the same angle. We call this um, eye angle. Okay, incident. But what, what can happen is that um, the, the waves can interfere with each other and they can, um, and they can split. And what you're going to have is coming out of here, you're going to have um, a spectrum of different colours. You're going to have a spectrum. Okay? Yeah, so we're going to have different colours come off. And what we can do is, depending on the angle at which this comes off, we can tell, and we're going to call this the, um, uh, the um, diffracted angle. From this angle, we can work out a whole bunch of different things, like what wavelength it is, we can work out what colour it is, and then from that, we can work out what chemicals we're dealing with. All right. Okay, so we have a laser pointer, okay, and it's on to the CD, right? Yeah, sure. See that? Now, what I can do is I've set the angle here to be 60 degrees, okay? So it goes through this little hole and it hits the CD, okay? That's at 60 degrees. So our 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 lat angle in is going to be 60. Okay. Now, what I've got set up here is a spectrometer, and what the spectrometer does is it does what your CD spectrometer does and it splits one coloured light into all the different co coloured lights. Okay, so what we can do is we can, using this, we can work out at different angles what colours come out and at what angle. Alright? So we're going to find what colours the laser Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we, get, so we put a piece of paper here. So here is at 60 degrees and we expect this one here. What's this like here? But there's one up higher, and that there is it being um, uh, diffracted, okay? Yeah, but what's the lower line? The lower one's another diffraction. So that's. And then in between. So this is, lower this is the one we expect at 60 degrees, and this one up here is, is, is the red light being split, okay? At a certain, way, at a certain angle. And it's the red. And it's the red. red. Is, um, so what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to move this around, ah. and we're going to work out where the maximum is and where it gets um, diffracted off and from that angle then we can predict when the um, uh, what the size of these of the diffraction grating is okay so what we'll do is spectral suite isn't playing up which is playing up which is a bit annoying but we can instead um, we can look at the end here can you see that there that I've lined up that spot there which is the, the red spot Okay, so it's coming in at 60 degrees, but it's coming out at 28 degrees from, from this normal here. Hmm? So that's a different angle. So that's not what we expect, right? We yeah. expect that if you hit a mirror, you're going to come off at, at the same angle you went in. But you don't. You come out at a, at a much shallower angle. Okay? So, I looked at the back here, and the angle is 28 degrees. Okay? So we bring okay. red light in and it comes off at 28 degrees. So the reason that things are certain colors is because the light either gets absorbed or passes by. So with a red laser pointer, your blood is red because red light passes through. <laughs> but 
it absorbs all the green light. And so Ooh. the green light, it's green. Watch this. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I could do both. What do you think? 